Hey y'all, Jason with Reach36 here, and I just wanted to take some time to walk you all through the process that I follow when I come up with my list of priorities for the new year. As I mentioned in a previous video, I don't come up with a list of resolutions or even necessarily goals uh, at the new year. What I do is come up with a list of priorities, and these are areas in my life that I want to have a high-level focus on in the new year. So for example, instead of saying something like, I want to lose 10 pounds this year, I'll say, I'm going to make health a priority. And the reason I do this is I found when I make resolutions or goals, life happens. I mean, let's be honest, what ha where you are in your life in December of 2018 is not where your life's going to be in February of 2019. And so sometimes the goals that you might set at the start of the year just aren't relevant anymore as the year goes on. But when you set a priority, when you say this is going to have a high level energy and focus for my new year, no matter what life throws at you, no matter how things change, it can still be a priority. And so when it comes time to create my priorities, this is what I do. So I usually take about a week or two and I evaluate where my life is at at that moment. And so I'll ask myself, where, where am I struggling in my life right now? What areas in life am I not living up to my full potential? Where do I feel like I'm lacking? Where do I feel like I know I could do better? Where do I look at myself and say, man, this is, this is not who I want to be. And ultimately what I do is I ask myself, who do I want to be? Who is the person that I want to be in this new year? And then I come up with a list of the areas in my life that I want to focus on. And so for, for this year, one of, my fo one of my priorities is I want to read more. I, I used to be a reader, but in 2018, I, I really just, I didn't do well at reading. And so in this year, in 2019, I want to get back to reading on a regular basis. But I don't want to come up with a goal that says I have to read this amount of books. I just, I want to be a reader. And so I come up with these, these priorities and I write them down in a journal. And then what I do is I brain dump all the things that come to my mind in relation to that priority. Because that's just how my mind works. Is I, I get an idea, I say this is going to be my priority, and then a hundred different ideas is going to come to my mind of this is what I should do and this is what I should do. So I, I write all that down just to get it out of my head. So for instance, in my priority of being a reader. What I've written down are things like, well, I know what I need to do is make a list of books that I want to read. And then maybe I also wrote down something like, I need to, but when I'm on my current book, what I need to do before I finish it is I need to pick what that next book is. That way I stay in the habit. I don't get to the place where I'm waiting a week or two and I fall out of the habit and life gets busy and that time is spent. Things like I need to schedule time to read and, and I need to maybe do a book review because then it holds me a little bit more accountable to read, to, to read and read new books. So I, I brain dump all these ideas of things that, uh, things that come to mind in relation to that priority. Then what I do is I go to Evernote because Evernote is kind of where I capture all my ideas, all the important things that I need to know. And I have a whole notebook on goals and I create a sub notebook for that year. And I follow this template when I input my goals into Evernote. So each, each priority gets its own note. And then what I do is I, anything that I wrote down in my journal, all those, all those ideas that came to my head, is I write them down in my next steps or next action section. That way I know here is everything I said in relation to reading that I, I thought I needed to do, and I get it all written down. Then I go back and I ask myself, what is my key motivation for this priority? What, why am I making this a priority? What is the importance of it in my life? And I write some ideas down because when I have that motivation behind it, when I have that why, so to speak, it makes it easier to have my priority be important in my life. So I do that and then, then there's a section in my template for updates where I can go and I can say, well, I accomplished this part 
of this priority or I've noticed over the last few weeks I've made this a habit instead of something that I consciously have to think about doing. And that's kind of the, that's kind of the process that I follow. It's kind of how I structure my notes. And then what I do is I prioritize the priorities. So I put them in order of what is most important to me and what is least important of my top priorities, if that makes any sense. Um, and what I found this year is the main priority of my life is focusing on developing myself. I found in 2018, I, I didn't really do that well enough. And when I was in Czech in, in two, in, back in October on my annual trip there, uh, there was a lot of people that came to me. It was like, you know, it's so awesome that you pour into others and you mentor and you, you give yourself and you help and you give advice and you do all this stuff. But how are you doing that for yourself? And I realized last year, I just, I dropped the ball on focusing on personal development. And so my overarching priority then for this year, for 2019, is that I am focusing on personal development. And once I have that focus for the year, once I say, man, my, my focus, what I wanna prioritize out of my priorities is my personal development, then I order the priorities. And I, I put things in, in the priority in the list of how I want to focus on them. So this year, my relationship with God is right at the top because that's important to me. My faith is, is a core part of who I am. And so that is always, that priority is always number one in my life. But then health is another one. I, I have some health issues that I've been struggling with in 2018. And, and this year I want to do some research and I want to get over them. Uh, I, want to, I want to finally find some relief from this. And so that's, that's a high priority. And same with, um, same with reading, same with pers this personal development, same with relationships and, and all that kind of stuff. And, and the least of my priorities is my ministry, and my business. Not that they aren't important. They are. They've made the list. They are part of the priorities. But I organize these priorities so I know what needs to have more focus than the rest. And so that's really what I do. And then every month, what I do is I kind of do a review where I go back and I look at those goals or those priorities and I ask myself, how am I doing? Is this really a priority in my life? Is this where I'm spending my time? Is this where I'm spending my money? Because if you want to know what a priority in someone's life is, look at their checkbook and look at their calendar. And so I ask myself, am I living up to these priorities? I'll also set some goals. Like I, goals are important. Just because I set priorities doesn't mean I don't think goals are important. They are. I set, I set goals all the time. But rather than a goal for the year, for me, it's priorities. And then under each priority is where I will come up with goals. But those goals are not something that I set right at the start of the year because I need to get over that holiday slump that I'm stuffed on cheese and carbs and, and high on Christmas gifts and New Year's and all that. I, I need to take some time and really think through, here are my priorities. Here are the things that I want to focus on now. What are my goals? What are the specific things that I want to accomplish under these priorities. And to be honest, I'm, I'm not there yet. I have my priorities. I have the, the mind dump of everything that I feel like I need to do under those priorities. I have my motivations done, but I don't have the specific goals yet because I don't think we need to wait till the start of the year to come up with goals. Goals should be something that continue throughout the year. They should be things that are flexible. They should be able to move when life changes. And so over the next few weeks, I'll be developing goals under each one of these priorities. But for me, the priorities are first. That's what I focus on in the new year. That's what I, I spend weeks developing uh, as we get ready to step into a new year. And so that's my process. Um, I'm sure you do it differently, and that's great. You have to do what works for you. But I wanted to share because I had a lot of people asking, well, if you set priorities, what about goals? And, and how do you know if you're accomplishing it? I, I do set goals. But for me, I have to start with the priorities. What is most important? And then the goals come after. So that's my process. 
I hope it helps. I hope it gave you some ideas of what you want to prioritize this year, of, of your process of coming up with what does the new year hold for you. And, and if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any input on that, I'd love to see a comment below. Um, just let me know your thoughts, your process, how you, how you go through this journey of coming up with what you focus on in the new year. And until the next video, I will see you then.